Hey there guys, Nolan and Jason here with Plumbing Webmasters. Howdy. Is my plumbing SEO AI search ready is the topic. So artificial intelligence or chat GPT or Google Bard. Uh, are you ready for the oncoming stuff that's imminent? And you're probably not unless you're already a client. Yeah, unless you're already a client of ours. <laughs> and I'm, 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 I'll, let, let this be a good, interesting perspective. So why aren't they and what's the difference? So uh, I, I think personally that like uh, a, a lot of websites are behind. But if you have up a basic website, you have a little 10 pager up, you never work on it, never change it. It's in pretty bad shape, whether you know it or not. And it's in bad shape because you don't give much signaling through that and it doesn't provide a good user experience. And then you have um, reviews and you try to get reviews on Google because you heard it was a good thing and you sure would like to get up and match. And it is a good thing. Yeah. Don't get us wrong. It is not the only thing. But the only thing that you're probably doing properly is to getting the Google review. Yeah. When you don't champion the brand properly from multiple areas of digital signaling, Google's just not going to give you the credit that you would like to have. And it mainly is because they don't trust you because you don't have a good authority and trust signals coming through. Basically, you have none besides your Google review, and you could have many more. Yeah. And then the website and the other things about the brand does not let the user of Google land on a good user experience. Right. And the only thing that's going to happen with AI integration into search algorithms, which is imminent within weeks or months, but by the end of this year. It's in process right it's, now. It's in process currently. And you can already go search separately, but they're about to integrate. So though there may be, I don't know how they're gonna end up shaking all this out, but there might forever be a chat GPT separate search for Bing, and there could end up being a separate search for Bard on Google. But those main platforms where human beings are used to going and typing in stuff, they're infusing that with AI, con, you know, AI uh, oversight or integration yeah. very, very soon. So the regular algorithm where you go type in something in the Google bar and search is going to have an AI assisted portion. And so I'm going to read something that somebody that works with us here um, wrote about Google Bard. And we still talk about Google. We said this just a minute ago, but honorable mention now to Bing, of course. Yeah. I mean, they're undeniable and honorable mention. They were basically stunk up the place until for a decade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were basically just. They, I think they had done some stuff to like basically corner people on their engines. And well, if you bought a any Windows enabled system when you started up, right? Uh, Internet it used to be Internet Explorer and became Microsoft Edge the first time you were using Bing. Right. And so their entire user base were people who didn't bother to change it or download it. Right. Didn't that was it. Did sued for that though, or was that like that was ages and ages ago? That was pre Bing, really. But it, it was it, it was stayed like that. Basically, just loaded, right? Yeah. And so people aren't they're on their phones and stuff. So you don't have Bing usage just went down and down and down. We, we thought maybe it was ten percent, and people's like, why don't you talk about Bing or Yahoo? It's like, well, because they're not. Working. It actually got down to five percent. Did it? That was the low point. So now, of course, uh, Bill Gates and Microsoft bought ChatGPT, and now Bing's got a definite honorable mention, but probably still not much of search. Yeah. Agreed? Yeah. Not, not much of the search you want. There's right. a lot of kids right. at home. My kids Cause as, of, as of now, ChatGPT, if you go in and say, I need a local plumber, what it does is it tells you to go to Bing or Google to search for a local plumber. It doesn't actually give you a list of plumbers to call. Just, it, so. It's gonna it's gonna take that knowledge once it does and just use it to show you where the plumbers are. Yeah. But the difference in the algorithm, it's gonna start pulling data different. We'll get into that. Yeah, from like, different sources and displaying it different ways. A lot of people messing with ChatGPT, but it's like software programmers and high school kids like my kids. Yeah. Getting like free reports and stuff. Yeah. Now they, they lash them now. They, they point a finger at them going, this probably isn't uh, something you should be doing, but here's your thesis. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I read one, I uh, saw it on Twitter the other day, a college professor posted a paper handed in by a student and in the middle of one of the paragraphs, it said, as an AI chat engine, Basically, the chat engine was addressing the person typing the query in, and they right. didn't edit it out. Right. They just 
hand it in exactly <laughs> what it spit out at them, and they you know fail to get. I, I don't think it's dumb. I don't. I mean, it's like it's life changes. Things go on. Like you're gonna sit there, like you know, you're gonna sit there and like really type up some dumb report. <laughs> But at least read it. Yeah. At, at least read it and edit it so that it doesn't make it, it obvious that you cheated. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to like service the public as an engineer for st building structural integrity, yeah, sure. <laughs> but if you're just getting a general degree, the paper's not worth anything anymore, hardly. You know, it's like, what? who cares? You know? Yeah. If you're going to be a doctor, yeah. I don't, I don't, you know, you don't want people like cruising through on ChatGPT. I'll be your doctor. I passed all my courses with ChatGPT. Doctor, I have a question. Hold on. ChatGPT is giving me the answer. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, the thing is, you're just going to sit at home and ask ChatGPT the question. You're not going to go to the doctor for that. Maybe. Yeah. Nolan Walker here for DataPens. You may not know, but I own a software company, and we have a proprietary software called DataPens. D-A-T-A-P-I-N-S. You can search it at datapens.com. This is not white labeled. I actually own this piece of software and I made it for you. It was made for contractors. You can actually take pictures of jobs up to six, make a caption about the material, the, the brand, the situation, the, the repairs, and post that back to your individual pages on your website, just like that. It's super simple. Anyone could use it. It also texts and emails your clients, direct links to your reviews, so it helps your reputation and reviews, which helps conversion and map placement. The geo coordinate gets grabbed by data pens and Google can tell where you are. So instead of them just seeing reviews, they see all jobs or even estimates that you do. This vastly outperforms just getting reviews, helps the map show up, helps organic keywords. And remember those captions that you're putting in there help expand the keywords per page. And it's great regular content. I love it. We made it just for you. It is organic optimization on steroids for both your website, your rankings, and the map placement. Check out DataPens. I think you'll be happy you did. So basically what you want to do is make sure you integrate properly. Almost everybody has poor quality websites. Um, still, still, still after all these years. And they're gonna be kind of more poor quality after this happens. Yeah. So if you have copied content, no content, uh, AI content, you're gonna get penalized or apathy from Google. They don't know what you do. You don't have a page for tankless water heaters. You won't show up for tankless water heaters. They don't guess. So you still have to have that stuff and it's still gotta be written by a human being that did a good job on it. Right. And if it's written by AI that did a better job than a human being, they're gonna penalize it. Yeah, well, that, yeah that's, I made this point before, but the AI integration into search does not equal AI acceptance or acceptance of AI generated content. That's still a no-no. It's still it's still something. And and even if you could maybe get it passed and it and it passed that time, you don't know if they're gonna be able to catch that content later. So we don't go there. We write content by hand. It'll be a long time before I trust that it's like I, I almost need to hear Google say, Go ahead and use it now. Go ahead and use it. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so let's talk about it. Let, let's read something about Google's, uh, Google unveiled its upcoming search prospectus filter just recently at their, at their event. The feature aims to showcase content that is created based on the experience of others. So when you go out, when you have a proper, first, first off, you have all the content and services, city pages, they know where you work they know what you do, they know the type of services you offer, the type of materials you install. And if they know that stuff, you'll have the maximum opportunity to show up in map ranking and organic ranking. It basically means for most of us, you need a page for it. Yeah. Even if it's like a, I don't know, it, it can be like a front yard line leak, you still need a, a page for it. So you're gonna have to have that stuff. Um, so you'll have to have that, but when you take data pens, which is an app that'll take you 60 seconds in the field to open up, you tag up to six photos, you write a caption like I just replaced a Renai tankless water heater, you say I'm gonna put this on my tankless water heater page and my Springfield city page, and then you put in the client's cell phone number and you hit pin. You can literally do this in about 60 seconds. It's automatically gonna text the client links to reviews like your Google review, Bing review, it's automatically going to post this up to your Google account with the photos and the captions right on your Google business profile. And it's automatically going to put the photos, captions, and the GPS coordinates with a little red pin drop right on the two pages you picked off of data pens or one page. All right. 
And then the pin drop is a geo coordinate that looks like a digital hand raise. So let's say you have 50 Google reviews, uh, but you've done 1,500 jobs. They can see all 1,500 jobs with pins, which would help the map rankings. But more importantly, with AI integration, they see your experience and expertise coming through the website by your own voice that's very hard to cheat on. Right. Right. So that, that, that's the big thing is it's no longer some third party, maybe in another country, at least in another state, or even somebody back at your office who didn't do the job, who's just sitting there getting paid to write content, right. saying, we do this. It's you saying, I did this. I was here and, at this location. Please wrap this geo coordinate in the schema saying I was here. Yeah. Check out these local photos that are unique that you've never seen before about the job and check out my technical expertise or technical explanation of content, the right. caption, which is different than what somebody else would write for content. Yeah. We call them long tail keywords or low search volume, which is half of all search. Mm -hmm. So one search might be plumber in Springfield and the next search is uh, <clears throat> Renai Tanko's water heater help Springfield. Yeah. And Google's like, oh, wow, this this company just dealt with this, evidenced it with a GPS coordinate, placed it on a relevant page of content with tankless water heater, and has photos of it. And we're going to show we're going to show this company to the searcher. Yeah, that is the most relevant search, the the most user friendly. Yeah. Another way to look at the page, like let's, and I'll stay with a tankless water heater page. And I, I'll use this example when I'm on the phone sometimes. People, I don't do tankless water heater. But. <laughs> I like it. I like this one. It's just I, an example. Because I get a brand. That's yeah. why I use it. Yeah. Because it, it's it's interesting to get not just category stuff and situational stuff like replace the ice maker shutoff valve, but I get to use the word Renai or Navian. Or yeah, something. well, I mean, that's in for plumbers. Most people don't know the brand name of most of their plumbing they in do. their house, but they know their water. They know their water heater. Just yeah. like if we're talking HVAC, they know their AC or their heat pump or whatever they know that brand so let's talk about um let's talk about expertise and experience coming through the website the thing that the ai claims they're going to want your tankless water heater page let's say you've done 50 pens just data pens just to this page now you've got 10 words per caption 500 words have been added to the three or 400 that were there it's a more of a technical basis shows where jobs are around town on each little pen and unique photos and different types of tankless water heaters. That's a really nice page of content. We already have that and already do that. Yeah. So we're not, when we've, we talk, we've now been doing it for three years. We've been doing this for you know, several years. So when you have a website like this, it's simply superior. What we're telling you now is that the AI integration is going to be looking for this stuff more than it already does. Yeah. They already love our websites. They've, they've been moving in this direction and they're taking a leap forward on it right. in this year. Right. So you're going to have the ability to show up for all this stuff and it, it's already available and you can be so far ahead. And if you've gone down in rankings recently, it's because of the algorithm being updated and looking for the better stuff. And it's going to happen again. Nolan Walker here with Plumbing Webmasters. I'd like for you to consider becoming a client. You know, we have a lot of great people that work here at the company. We help hundreds of clients. We've done this for 12 years now. We help clients dominate online. We're a digital marketing agency. I honestly don't think there's anyone better than us at this point in time. We'll help you with your design, your code, your content. We'll help you rank on Google Maps. We'll help you reputation reviews organically. We even have proprietary software that I own in a different company called DataPens, D-A-T-A-P-I-N-S. DataPens allows you to post pictures of jobs with captions and geo coordinates right onto the website. It'll take 90 seconds. A 12 year old could use it, but you'll be able to post daily and get daily activity great content. It even posts it back to your Google account. It even texts and emails the client. So one simple thing where you pick a couple of photos you took, wrote a caption, put in the client's cell phone number and hit pin and boom. And then that is in addition to all the other things that we do for you for SEO. We can also help with paid ads and other things too. But man, we'd love to hear from you. Give us a call. You can check us out at plumbingwebmasters.com. All right, I'm going to read more of this. Uh, the content initially going to come from forums like Reddit, or video platforms like YouTube, and this will be right inside of your Google search, however it aligns with the objectives of DataPens, which is to public publish content that verifies the company's experience and expertise through job site pins. 
um, those pins just have a ton of knowledge in them. So you're getting where I was, unique photos, unique words and technical perspective. You're getting possibly more reviews from text and then your Google accounts getting updated. So you're getting five, six different things that are better than you just leaving a website stagnant for a poor user experience combined with a Google review. Right. Just a better deal. So um, Google's document went on to reveal how this update will also impact standard search results. In the coming months, we will roll out an update to this system. This is Google talking or paraphrasing Google talking that more deeply understands content created from a personal or expert point of view, allowing us to rank more of this useful information on search. So they're basically saying, we know there's better content out there and we're gonna go find it. Yeah. And, and, and that, is, a, that is a description of data pens. It right is there. data pens, it is absolutely data pens. And yeah, their uh, AI is gonna help them integrate this so they don't have to go write another three trillion lines of code to change the algorithm yeah. or whatever they have to do. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what we're looking at. We're looking at AI assisted changes to the algorithm. It's gonna do it right. in real time. It's, it's gonna hit a point where it's updating the algorithm. Be uh, what the algorithm looks for in real time on like a daily basis. Yeah. That's okay. crazy. It is gonna be crazy. Um, yeah, so I don't know, I'll, I'll recap some of this, but I'll finish this. It's becoming more, so the future of, of SEO based content will underscore the importance of experience. We are, data pens is designed exactly to validate experience through branded web content, your pens and geo coordinates and photos, and it's already doing what you need. Yeah. We, we, we talked about this in another podcast, but we've been working on conceptually better designed. I mean, I, I, it made me think about schema code. So six years ago, maybe, something like that. We were working on something new called schema code I didn't. I didn't. More fully, actually, seven. I didn't fully understand what it was. Jason got hardcore into it. You're probably one of the. I, I'm sure there are people that have done more at this point. But at the time, yeah. he probably one of the best at it at the time because nobody had done anything with it. And so we started entering over 100 points of schema code into search, and there was no algorithmic benefit whatsoever for years. Yeah. And they finally started giving some algorithm benefit to schema coding a couple of years ago. Right. Yeah. But it, we, we, when we did it, it had no direct ranking benefit, but it could capture snippets and do stuff like that. And then they started giving credit for those things, yeah. or at least embellishing opportunities for organic search. Um, I, I, I can't remember all the ones, but there, there was extra snippets and things that would show up. In the snippets, uh, FAQs. Yeah. Stuff like that. Some of the reviews yeah. for a little bit. Yeah. Rich results in uh, on mobile, especially. So they put that in. My point was, we've been we toil about this stuff, worry about it constantly on it. Most people, most companies just don't have this these resources in the first place. They don't worry about it. They frankly sell a bill of goods to people as an SEO or digital marketing agency, get a residual check column once a month, and keep them moving and make them pay for leads, man, pay for clicks, yeah, and pay for impressions, and. I, we've always tried like hell to get organic rankings. And, and then the truth is, when somebody goes hardcore for organic, organic rankings, the, the tenure of the client's higher. Yeah. If somebody pays, if somebody brings somebody in and a plumber wants to come on board and they get sold, I, I, I had somebody the other day saying, kept asking about links. I'm like, man, who have you been talking to about linking? You know, I was like, I, I, and then other people say, well, what about paid? What about paid? What about paid? And I don't have a problem with paid, but all these companies sell paid integrated because they can't do organic optimization. But organic is over 70% of search. But the company you go with... Well, paid is easier. Paid's easier, but it costs too much. <laughs> yeah. It costs like hundreds of percent more. So the reason we don't go in and talk about it all the time is because we lose the client. Somebody signs up for paid and they're angry at, at the digital marketing agency. Yeah, they're, they're paying... Google 5,000, they're paying us a small percentage of that, but they're angry at us. Right, so they, they, pay, they pay a lot of money, it costs a lot more, it's not our fault. We're one of the only agencies that is really good at organic optimization to the point that we now have a SaaS software company. 
And when you can get somebody happy there, they'll stay for years yeah. on their own account because it's a great relationship. You sign somebody up for paid and integrate everything, they're mad within 90 days because the paid costs 500% more than organic and they're bleeding them dry and they're not sure if they're making a profit or not. And so it, it's vital for you to fight to get up in organic rankings. You've, there are very, very few companies that can help you with organic rankings and actually truly help and, and do something. So we'd love to help you with that. Um, we'll design, write the sites, uh, manage SEO, we'll work on your site, definitely include data pens either way you shake it. Um, you need to do that and it will help you through this new stage that's coming coming soon. So like and subscribe, call us when you're ready. We're happy to answer any questions you got. Take it easy. See you.